First of all, thanks for the compliment. And second of all, I really want to address those people because I saw a YouTube video about race swapping and it just got me thinking. So earlier today, I saw a YouTube video about the toxic traits of the art community. And trust me, there are lots of toxic traits in the art community. And there's one comment that brought the opinion about race swapping. Say if you turn an existing character who is white into a person of color. So for example, Ariel from the Little Mermaid remake, one of the best life action remakes I've seen. Not taking any arguments, okay? Sorry. So say if you turn a white character into a person of color, then it feels like it's a woke agenda. It feels very forced because it doesn't give more originality to original POC characters. And that's when the creator agreed and I just turned the video off. Yes, I know. Say what you want. Here's the thing though, and it's going to feel very nuanced in many levels. I don't mind race swapping unless it's for an indigenous culture. You know, characters like Moana. Oh, and also, hands up if you're ready for Moana too. Because, you know, Moana is Polynesian and her skin color affects the story and the culture where she grew up in. Especially characters like Tiana from The Princess and the Frog. Her skin color and her culture affects the story. In the contents of Tiana's story, Tiana is a black woman in America in the 1920s. And we all know what happened in America in the 1920s to black people. I don't need to explain it, even though I'm not American. I know The Princess and the Frog is going to have a live action remake in the future, but if you make Tiana white just because, and you put the same contents that happened in the animated version, it will not work and it will feel like disrespectful. Again, I know this conversation is nuanced. To be honest, I'm not sure if I'm using nuance the right way. In the contents of The Little Mermaid, and I don't mean the 1989 movie, I mean the book by Hans Christian Andersen, The Little Mermaid did not really have a culture tied into it, so mermaids can be any color in the ocean because, you know, it's the ocean. Anything can come from there. And you know, we don't get a lot of mermaids of color in lots of media, so it's a good thing that the Little Mermaid remake did that. And also, here's another thing that a lot of people forget. There are original POC characters, but most of them don't get a lot of recognition unless it's negative or unless people just want to complain. Such as Mindy Kaling's Velma, thank goodness that the show got cancelled. Oh my gosh. I got excited for an Indian Velma because this is not the first time that Velma has been a person of color. And then they just played off her culture as the butt of the joke, which is just very disrespectful. And I will say this, there are original characters of color, but again, lots of people don't give the recognition or don't want to. And Tiana is kind of a prime example. Then there's Asha from Wish, who is like an extraordinary black character and one of my favorite Disney characters at the moment. She has North African blood in her. And then there's Ethan Clade, where his movie deserved way better. Like, I wish Ethan Clade was the main character and I will stand by that point. And let's not forget Lunella Lafayette from Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur. Seriously, Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur is one of the best cartoons of the 2020s. Again, I will stand by that point. And I'm sure she's getting the recognition she deserves. And she should get more. Again, race swapping is a very difficult topic because there's a lot of opinions about it. Some, some are toxic, some are kind of nuanced, and it's kind of difficult to like answer properly without like upsetting a lot of people. So yeah.